Hey, what's going on guys? Chris back with you with another unboxing and review video. We've already actually unboxed this, but I'll show you a little bit of a snippet of what it comes in. This is the 125 inch 8K 4K Ultra HD 3D ready projector screen by Akia. The link will be in the description box below. You guys can read more specs about it after the video is complete, but this projector screen is beautiful. Ultra thin velvet bezel around the side seamless edgeless beautiful projector screen and this screen is a 16.9 ratio screen and when i do say 125 inches that is top left corner to bottom right corner diagonally up 125 inches from point to point there we're going to jump right into the video we're going to show you some installation tips this obviously is not the permanent location but this thing is a home theater dream so let's go ahead and get into the video company does offer other size inch screens as well even larger screens and smaller screens if 125 inches can't fit in your space so again look for those links right underneath the video in the description box below all righty guys so a couple things tips and tricks for you while you are setting up and installing the screen here the two white cloth soft protectors that you did see on the top of the box they come in two long sheets and it's actually perfect for laying down the screen on your kitchen floor your living room floor remember this is a 125 inch 16.9 screen 125 inches from corner to corner here so this takes up a lot of room I actually had to push my kitchen table all the way over here against my refrigerator and this is the easiest way to do it of course carpet would just be the same just vacuum up your carpet lay that down you probably could skip this step but I just want to make sure it's nice and fresh and crisp so first I vacuum my floor then I laid that down and now I have it on top of here so the instructions are very simple here let's go ahead and look at that this is the way I have laid it down now I do need to go ahead and use my brackets here so we will of course be putting that together and if there are any tricky steps which I'm not anticipating but there if there is we'll go ahead and be back with you for a portion of the setup steps besides having the room in your house to be able to lay 125 inches down let's go ahead and take a look now it is leaning on the center bracket against my disc golf basket here if you're gonna do this don't put any pressure on on the screen the pressure is on the centerpiece let me go ahead and show you that now here so again there is a centerpiece running straight down so the the directions are pretty clear but a few steps that I will help you out with here so the small screws you have 32 small screws with washers those go into the right angle brackets here and the bracket goes in between the aluminum here pieced together and the screws with washers flip in right there now over here on the center piece there are eight screws a piece and then there's going to be eight screws down there and then four in that corner four in that corner four in that corner for a total of 32 you might have a few extras then each individual spring gets loaded into the little hook here now there are tension rods in here and the tension rods come in a couple different sizes now there are longer ones and then there's two shorter ones so a long one and a shorter one go in the top and what you do here is you put them in but don't slide it all the way that way slide one large one in this way slide the small one in that way and i do have a little bit of a gap it's probably uh, they do piece together but i think uh, mine separated so there's like maybe a centimeter gap that doesn't matter at all but they do piece together and you can slide one in or you can slide in one and one it's up to you but again one smaller tension rod goes in the top and one larger tension rod goes in the top one large tension rod goes in the side one large tension rod goes in the side and again large and small on the bottom and then you have large screws and the large screws go into the edges of the felt here now if you can you can try to make your edges even better on the front it looks fine unfortunately with the side tension rods the top is fine the tension rod is not in the way of the felt here but for the sides even though it is even on both sides it just snugs in right here so if you get a little bit of a gap, as long as it looks good from the front, you're gonna be okay. And then there's screws all over. Now, one other thing as well is that the screen, no matter how even you get it, it overlaps a little bit 
And so when the screen is overlapped, before you put the screw in, you're gonna notice that you've covered up the holes and you'll actually have to take like a little pin or something and poke a hole in the screen, which does not show, don't worry about that, and then screw it in so you actually can see the screws that you're doing that in. I actually had to do that for all 12 poke small holes because those holes, again, are in the top. With that said, you will have some springs left over and a couple screws, and that will save you some time putting it together. So now we need to actually move some furniture in here because I wanna be able to prop it up right up in this direction here. This wall, I believe, is actually too small. I will take a tape measure, but I think it's gonna overlap a little bit here, not to mention the couch is right there as well. So I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna prop it up temporarily, but it does come with mounting hooks and anchors, of course, which are right here in the brackets, being able to slip in the back, and your drywall anchors and screws right there for wherever you do decide to install this. I will be using an Optima GT1080 Full HD 3D Ready projector, and I'm really excited to see what it looks like. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the projector screen in the daytime. Now, first and foremost, right off the bat, I am filming with a Samsung S8 Plus, and it is filming on 1080p. You will see some lines coming down for some oddball reason. It's the projector. Projectors do that with this phone. I've reviewed other projectors before, and it's not anything to do with the projector. It's not anything to do with the screen. It has to do with my phone. So you're gonna see some lines coming down right about there. It's just the display of that entering in here. I'm not exactly sure, but in person, I do not see any of those lines coming down. But as I'm looking on the phone, then I can see them. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. I will be bumping around because I don't want to get a copyright on this video. This is just a beach scene that is probably on a loop, but I want to show you the daytime shot. I am using an Optima GT1080 projector. It's a short throw. And as you can see there, we are probably five feet away from the screen, just going straight up here. Now, as you can see, because obviously this is not the permanent location, you wouldn't have that little thing. See how it's hitting the box and getting a little bit off of the screen here, and then also on the corner there because it's literally such a short projector. Now, this particular projector that I've set up for a backward shot, just testing out a couple different projectors. This one is your typical longer range if you had it mounted behind you, your head, or if you had it mounted to the ceiling. And that is obviously quite a bit further. That's probably eight feet, seven feet closer. The Optima is made for gaming. They have some sweet features to it, but we are, of course, reviewing a projector screen, not the projector, but the projector can definitely help out with the clarity. Well, guys, again, we're not gonna play too much of this, but look at the crisp and clarity. This is daytime, and this is with full French door windows leading out to my patio. So obviously it depends upon the projector unit, but look at all the natural light pouring in, not to mention over here on this side of the kitchen as well, pouring in and the screen looks absolutely fantastic. It does take a little bit of time to mess around with your keystone as I'm walking in front of the screen here, but that's okay. I do wanna block it so we can see here down below. Beautiful velvet seamless edge there just goes right on the top no thick border at all all the way up the side here as the projector screen is right on the edge meeting the corner to corner 125 inches with a nice little small logo down here at the bottom right i remember years ago my cousin he had a very expensive projector screen and this one looks 10 times better with a very almost next to none border like that. I really, really like that instead of that thick bezel like that. I like televisions the same exact way. Here we have a 60 inch that has an even thicker bezel than the projector screen, but you guys can see smaller the bezel, the larger the screen, it just looks a lot more cleaner in my opinion. That's what I definitely like about this projector screen. I've been watching a lot of disc golf out here in the evening time using an external speaker with the projector unit. And of course we will be giving you nighttime shots as well. It looks great during the daytime, but nighttime is absolutely stellar. We're just gonna take a quick look at this video as well. We definitely do not wanna get a copyright on the video. Forgive some of those lines. Let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit. This is kind of, I guess, a walk through the woods. 
just looking absolutely stunning. A lot better in person, obviously, without those lines kind of going down the center of the screen, but absolutely beautiful. Please forgive kind of the makeshift box I have set up. Again, this isn't gonna be the permanent location. I'm testing out different walls, not to mention I wanna do a full theater room video series. So stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed for that one. All right, guys, we're gonna check out some different shots now. It is completely dark. There's no light coming in from outside and there are no lights on in the house. So this is what your projector screen would look, cranking out a beautiful picture, vivid colors. Obviously this is probably color corrected and we're not gonna play too much again. Let's go ahead and look at a few more different options though, but definitely crisp and nice. It's looking great up on that screen. Obviously the projector has a lot to do with that as well. All right guys, let's go ahead and take a look at a different, oh beautiful, this is Switzerland and absolutely gorgeous, absolutely stunning. Projector is absolutely beautiful. Screen is beautiful. It's doing a great job just cranking it right out on there, 125 inches. I'm definitely impressed with the screen. Also guys, please stay tuned for my home theater build. Make sure you're subscribed for that. Well guys, thank you so much again for watching the video. Thumbs it up if it has given you an informed decision. If you want to create your own home theater, pick one of these Akia 125 inch projector screens up. And again, those links will be in the description box below for this exact same one. Subscribe on your way out, guys, and we'll see you on the next video. My name's Chris. Take care for now. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.